Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Aatrox City. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to Aatrox Jungle. I'm really excited to show you guys this video. Uh, this is even without a leash, by, by the way. Look at this. Look, they're not even helping me leash. So I'm like, alright, cool, whatever. But, um, I want to show you guys how to Aatrox Jungle. So, first, first off, I always start on Punch's Machete. And, um, I also start a Killable Potion. Alright. I try not to use my smite right here, but it just really depends how I'm feeling like. Sometimes I'm in a hurry and I just want to. Um, so look, see how he's kind of pushed up? I'm going to go and gank that. Just because you got to be smart if you want to win. If you want to you have people that others don't, you got to be able to work. So look at that. I already got him half that much and I helped my uh, Vagar. Um, you know, uh, when he's laying so far a little bit better. Alright. So now I'm gonna do the same type of route. I think I might go back to the top because usually they don't expect it. Um, if you uh, get them once, they usually just think like, ah, oh, he already did what he wanted to do, so he's not gonna come back. Alright, I even got his flash in that. So, um, so first we got him down and he had to use his potions, he has one more, then we got his flash. And I'm also going to get these scuttles, so the reason why scuttles are very good and, and important is because you want to have like free wards so your team is more safe. Alright, so uh, I also have to make sure I farm up too. So look at, see how that thing, did you notice on the map how they moved it right there? So that means Kane is there, yep. Alright, so I'm not about to cross some turrets and then just die or whatever so I'm gonna go back and then I'm going to buy another item and that's gonna be good. Buy the buy this right here, alright? Buy the other um I am as time thing. As I don't really know war. if it like I'm still learning the game too so this I know that each one of them individually gives you bonus experience when you're in the jungle so but um, I think if you have both of them it might give you like extra experience while you're in the jungle which is good alright I know but then again, I don't know if it's just going to have one and they don't stack or whatever. So yeah, let's get some farm now because I have 12 farm and 17. So yeah, I did some good ganking and uh, I think Zed is a, a counter for Vagar. So maybe that was the good thing that I did. Like, or whatever. Alright. But yeah, so um, every game is a little different. As you can see, I kind of camped the mid a little bit because... Uh, Whenever they push up like that, uh, if they're back here, I'm gonna do anything. They're still like really close. I'm gonna try to get help out, you know. So I got this and I went straight there, but usually I'll get um, the red buff and then I'll go to um, the wolves and then I'll go to the blue buff. Alright? Yeah, it all depends, really. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually go back to mid lane. Um, hopefully, we can actually kill him this time. Whoa! But yeah, the reason why I went mid lane is because it was the easiest like uh, option to do as of right now. I think Kane is somewhere around here. Never put yourself in a bad situation. Like right now, I have my flash, and if Kane were to come, I probably would have to lose it because um, I can't really one v one if I don't have all my stuff like ready enough and running. So now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get uh, this, which is 300, and I'm also gonna get. Um, let me think about this. I'm gonna get some uh, some boots. It all depends, really. Like, I'm gonna get boots for the reason uh, I want to be able to run and go gank people. So that's why I'm getting boots. But also, if you wanted to get some attack speed, that'd be good too. Because uh, if I wanted to get the dragon, that'd be really good. Uh, to have some extra attack speed, you know what I mean, to be able to. Uh, hit it more. So I think they're at dragon right now, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna jump over. Alright, I'm gonna get the scuttle so that usually a good thing about getting the scuttle, I'm just basically throwing you guys throwing out as much knowledge as I can from this jungle game. Uh, but usually the good thing about getting scuttle is that the enemy jungler sees it right here and he'll back off. He will be like, oh they they have they saw me, I'm gonna go back to my and then, because they can't see me, like if, let's say the jungler was right here, he cannot see me right here. 
You might think, oh crap, he's weak, but no, he doesn't. You see him because of the war that's right here. Uh, but it's not the other way around. So let me just repeat that, just in case you're paying attention. So if there's a guy that you see right here, you might think that he sees you, but he doesn't. Because this ward lets you see him, but he doesn't have the ward over here to see you. So you're hit. Alright, and then um, also when the bot lane pushes up like that, it's dangerous because like the mid laner you might want to come and gank. Or uh, the jungler might want to come and gank. And if he passes over here, he can see you if he's right here, you know? But he, you know what I mean? So, Make sure that you're aware of these two important things. This scuttle, always get it before you do uh, dragon. And then uh, if your spot is pushed up, then it's dangerous situation in the game, right? We have some dead to take the fire. And they don't have any oh boy, yeah, we have a wood right here, which is good. Um, so yeah, as you can see I try to farm as much as possible. You know, farming games, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, super um, productive. When you have um, constantly farming instead of like, let's say I was hiding in this bush or that bush, you know, we might get them both, which is, that's actually the risk that people do. If you get both of those kills, that's really good. Um, but if you don't, it's a waste of time, you know? So if you're constantly farming, then um, you're gonna be making the most of your time. So right now I have 40 farm, he has 37 farm, so uh, uh, Kane is doing really well in terms of farming as well. Um, and yeah, that's that, so look, they're pushed up. So right now the bot lane is pushed up. I'm not level 6 yet, and I really wish I was, but I'm not. But either way, I think I'm gonna go up there. Actually, I probably would just... Yeah, I'm gonna go around like this because then... my flash So yeah, that was actually all like planned. Like I will never fight a fight that I don't think that I'm gonna win. So right there, that was all. And I could go invade his jungle, which actually what I'm gonna do. Hopefully there's something there. Yep. Win something like that, you should probably. And then dead is Maya, so he might come for me. Then I can avoid in here. So I'm gonna try to get my stacks up. So yeah, right now if I were to die, I have my stacks up and. That means that I have, but it goes down very fast if I'm not. So let me explain that for those of you that don't know Atrox and would like to learn. So whenever I have my, um, what's it called? Yeah, so Kane is right there. So he, look at that. So I stole his blue buff. Not only did I take away his mana ability to use it, you know, because blue buff gives you mana. I also uh, took 100 gold from him. I'll try to go in. No, no, no. Never, never. Oh, actually, yes. They're both low, so that's good. I do need my ultimate if I'm going to be able to do something special. I'm not going to fight unless I have my ultimate. I'm not going to get this girl right here. I don't want to use my ultimate for no reason. Kill look at Stomp, he's gonna get stomped right here. Right. So yeah, we gave our team, uh, so we gave um, Brand a kill, which is good. He has one kill now, and I don't want to be hogging up all the kills. So that's and depending on how you want to play the game, you have to do things a little bit differently. For example, if you want to carry your team, then by all means, oh crap, oh crap, oh, that never happens. I'm actually trying to talk and kind of 
pocket player this time. But uh, so yeah, I just lost my passive, which is not very good. Um, but yeah, so what was I talking about? For a second. Um, oh yeah, so there's two different types of playstyles as a jungle. In, 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 in generally, you want to kind of feed your lane. So you go down there, um, and then you get them some kills, and then they're able to uh, do well and get their turret and they're, they're kind, you kind of like set them up for success because you give them kills and you help out that way. The other style of jungling is basically you take all the kills for yourself and that's a very dangerous way of doing things like so far the four kills that I've gotten are all pretty much like uh, kills that I just got like cleaned up you know like it's not like anybody else could have gotten them. So usually so now it's up to me to continue to get all of the dragons that come up and all of the rift, like the rift herald is right there, so I need to make sure to get that as well. And hopefully that can help my team. Um, that's what my plans are. So we can always get those objectives. Uh, we are, like for laners, if you're a laner, you want to get the turrets, right? All right. As a jungler, you want to get the objectives. Unfortunately, I don't have my passive right now, which is kind of. Um, as a Aatrox player, you want to kind of have your passive up all the time, so it's like your. Guardian is still um, that. So, yeah, let's make sure we get that easy 300 gold real quick. Oh, no. I, it all came back. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Drag is more important. Oh, God. Okay, Kane is here. So, that means that I don't have to worry about drag. So, my goal straight down. But yeah, the, the dragon is Oh yeah, you can have that one. Alright, let me go look at this. gonna try to get rid of the dragon maybe, but yeah, so I'm gonna have a thousand. Um, yep, yep, I'm gonna go get that dragon. So let me uh, go ahead and get... What do I have against So I'm gonna get to Kane. So yeah, I'm gonna build some lifesteal. Because Kanes normally build um, lethality. And when you are fighting somebody who has lifesteal, unless you blow them up, like right away, like with your lethality, lethality, then it's not going to do anything. Life steal beats lethality. You need to understand that. Um, in the long run. Like, I know. Uh, Alright. So, what the? I'm gonna get this right. I don't think uh, Kane has enough time to get the infernal like actually. Now let's go to the bird. Oh, let me the dragon. Alright. So he's not there. Let me do this. No more. No more. All good, man. All good. So right now, let's make sure we go get the mid tower. Actually, they're all there. The protectors might be going lost. I have escape. So the reason why I'm doing this, even though I know all of them can come, I have escape. So it's not anything dangerous on my part. So I can go over here. Um, just gotta outplay him. Maybe kill one if it gets too close and they're not there. I am as timeless as. So Malph is over here chasing me. And I'm over here. Oh, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was unlucky. But, um, yeah, so that was kind of silly. But in general, I was trying to do something so that they don't go and get the dragon. Because I don't know if I can uh, be able to contest it. I might be able to just jump in and steal it. And then, like, try to flash out. But, you know, um, that's a mistake that can learn from or something but um let's think about this so what else i wanted to tell you what else do i want to tell you all right let's go get that dragon oh yeah so i'm still maintaining my farm right now i have 74 farm he has 70 uh, 82 farm wow he's, he's doing well in the farm Um, but yeah, we, we still managed. 
managed to get that kill. Bay got the kill, which is awesome because Bay he needed a kill so that he can uh, start helping us out. I gotta farm up a little bit more. I know lurks. I wanna take oh by the way, one thing as a jungler, do not take people's farm, just don't do it. Number one, it just ruins their game, right? It makes it so that they can't farm. And number two is that you tilt them. If you tilt them, usually people don't get off tilt until like so they get like, their like just, just whenever you go through lanes, just like cruise by, don't take their stuff, and just try to help them get the kill or kill the first time. Alright, let's see if we can help out this turret. I'm gonna keep it there. I'm only taking this farm because I'm not. The reason why is because I'm defending the turret. There's a big difference between just taking their farm and just trying to. And also, I was trying to heal up a little bit. Uh, You'll learn. The more that you play, the more you'll learn. Don't think about um, trying to be like so good, like to be a good start. So yeah, just take my advice. If you want to take notes, like let's say if you're really trying to get better, uh, I recommend you watch this video, take some notes on it, and then um, you're gonna get a lot better. Because a lot of the stuff that I'm telling you, I learned it the hard way. So I learned it over time, you know. Um, so, so that they're all grouped up right now so right. Oh, uh, so I know he doesn't have his ultimate right now but uh, I can't really fight him because this whole team is here and I don't have my ultimate let me just like maybe my present is still scared them, I don't know so yeah right now I'm, I'm uh, defending so there's a difference I'm not like taking fun has been slain. Oh, let me go get the red and then the grump. Let fear become fear. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make a part two for this. Um, probably because uh, there's, a, there's a couple things that I wanted to mention, but certain things I can't mention them unless uh, it's like the beginning or it happens. So Ezreal shot me for it sounds like it looks like he was being mean or he was just playing with me, but hit that ability, it increases my attack speed for like I don't know how long, like five seconds or something. But yeah, or two seconds, who knows? But yeah, so he shot me, it gave me some attack speed. For those of you that wanna know what that does. If it if it goes through and uh, allies, it gives them attack speed. Uh, it doesn't hurt enemies though, which is kinda sucky. Violence is elegant. I think it also gives Ezreal attack speed too, like for like a short period of time. So I don't have my ultimate right now, so I'm trying to be careful on um, like fighting anybody or doing anything. Oh, one thing. focus on um, only explaining jungling things so let's see so right now 
Okay, let me explain how I build and the reasons why I build it. So they all are, have lethality, you understand what I'm saying? So building anything like tanky is kind of stupid. If I built health, if I built armor, they're just gonna like explode me. Unless I was like a like a full on... Um, um, so I have my book already. One second. Let me get... Do they have any AP? They have one. Um, let's get a Titanic Hydra for the... So this not only gives me... Um, uh, every time I can kill five, uh, 20 uh, units and I can get some extra bonus time, alright? So then it also gives me some attack damage. So yeah, so it's like a double whammy. I don't want to just build like a health and stuff like that. But I'm probably going to have to build this game. I can build the mallet and uh, the Titanic Hydra. Yura's doing good in regards to like backdooring, and that's very good on her part. Peace is the greatest lie of all. So uh, team-wise, we're gonna have to step up our game, you know, like. So let me go and get. So let's leave that right there. Somebody's top right now. I need to somehow pick up. But I cannot fight. I advise no fighting. Until I get my password. Maybe uh, we can force one of them to recall, and then um, it'll relieve some pressure from the mid lane. Actually, I gotta go now because. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah, I knew they were coming. I thought they recalled actually, but yeah, that was too. They got me. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe she needed me to do something. I'm not sure. But so let's um get the Titanic Hydra, and also I'm gonna get that soon. So yeah. Um, so Titanic Hydra is really cool because it gives you an extra like health and uh, damage. You don't want to build armor against people that have lethality because lethality it negates armor. So right now if you read it it says plus 20 lethality and then it, it uh, 16 armor it just kind of makes it so that it's useless. So it's like why buy armor? You know those ones that say 40 armor? If it's just gonna like be useless you know what I mean? Is forever. So, don't, and those, so you should build like health type of builds. So after my Titanic Hydra uh, I've, let me think about this. Oh yeah, Frozen Mallet, Frozen Mallet. Uh, maybe Frozen Mallet or Lethality as well, so I'm not sure. Since they're kind of squishy. Damn it, I was so close. So let me get the, the Cloud Drake while he's running away. I don't know how mid was getting crushed when I like helped him out a lot. I was trying to get Vega fed because Vega's fed are really helpful. Yeah, 
yeah, now they have uh, control of my jungle, which is not so good. Um, they can steal all my stuff, and I can't really do anything about it. It's kind of sad, but let me try to ward it. Maybe they left. Yeah, they left. This guy was 8-4, so like, that, that Zed was pretty fed. Look how much farm he has. He has 254 farm, and he can't even, like, uh, kill me. Alright, so, uh, let me go ahead and push bot lane. Nice, nice. We're coming back, guys. We're coming back. They're probably gonna die, but... Oh, nice, they're gonna get, uh... I'm gonna get a bot lane while they get mid. That's so good. We're actually coming back. get there we're gonna get there to those team fights but right now we can't really uh, it's better to have it's better to fight when you have um, all of your gold and stuff that's important so let's get some lethality I think oh or frozen mallet usually I would buy frozen mallet but it seems like we're doing pretty well and oh mom we don't really need mom so yeah let's get the lethality and that's good Go back because I have enough money for that other thing. Ten more attack damage, guys. All right, let's go back. Cool, cool, guys. I play HC and that's how I feel sometimes when I'm like, oh my gosh, there's pretty sick in my farm, how am I gonna get fed, you know? But yeah, I'm the jungler, so I still gotta uh, make sure I get my jungle farm. And I get uh, bonus experience when I'm in my jungle, you know, and uh, they don't get bonus experience when they're in. So, let me get this guy, alright? Oh, 
all good. It's all fine. It's fine. It's fine. So now I'm gonna get this. So I, it's basically the reason why I'm getting that. It's not only lethal. It's not only lethality, and it's not only um, some more attack damage. It's also kind of like a. Um, so I can see all of the wards that they have around me. So it's it's kind of like this. Look at this. It's called uh, Oracle Alteration. It's a sweeping lens type of thing um, where you can see everything invisible around you. So this is similar to that um, in regards to wards. I don't know if it sees like Twitch or anything. I, I, I'm, I gotta learn more about the game too. But So now I got these items. So let me think about what else I wanna get. So let's think about this. So they mostly have a bunch of um, Maybe a black cleaver. I'm actually gonna get a black cleaver because it gives me some health, no armor involved, right? And it gives me. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna get a Trinity Force. Hesitation we'll see. Oh, not we'll see. I gotta get it right here first. Yeah, so it's gonna activate if there's any wards around me. So if I, if nothing, see, look, if it doesn't activate, uh, that means that there's no. Uh, oh man, my Yeah, I'm gonna get the black cleaver uh, so I can give me some extra movement speed, uh, and then I'll be able to keep up with it. I am as timeless. An ally has been slain. No, that's not a good idea. Never mind. I'm gonna try to get the stuff in the jungle. That mouth I just also They will greet you as you Alright, um, so the reason why I don't want to get Trinity is because even though it offers me some attack speed, um, it's not worth it, like, in regards to my build right now, um, because 
a late game, uh, when you have too much attack speed, you're not even able to use it. You, you have to make every attack count. So when you have Black Cleaver, um, and you already have attack speed right here, and with your um, Blood Razor, so you have 50% uh, fifty percent attack speed here, you have, uh, you know, 25% attack speed there, so it's just basically, um, as a jungler, with that, you don't need extra more attack speed, so you want to get Cleaver, just gives you health and more damage. Worth my life, so I'm about to yeah. I can't help you, dude. Nice, got her. So the cleaver, I almost have enough for it, you know. Um, my bad, guys. Alright, so um, I don't want to lose that um, elder dragon. We need, Don't lose the elder. Otherwise, they get too... What the heck was that face? Otherwise, they're going to get two barons, I guess. I don't know how this works. How much do I have? 1750 I need uh, stuff though, like she's she's not useless. But, uh, oh man, that might be that's definitely The reason I need Black Lever 2 is because uh they have two tanks, Malphite and Tom. Did it for me. Um, try to hang on. Oh, that's game, maybe. Mm, so yeah, um, that's fine. Um, so yeah, we we actually have all of the dragons. I just noticed. Look, we have the elder right now. We have um, all of the dragons. So as a jungler, I cut all of the dragons. You know, while I was talking, I guess. Um, Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm going to be um, appreciative if you uh, like and subscribe my video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Peace.